for everything scary, I'm GM Hawks, and today I'm here with my unboxing, setup, and demo of my Spirit Halloween 2021 Wacky Mole Clown. So today was the grand opening of my second Spirit Halloween location for 2021. My first one opened a few weeks ago, but today a, a one that's about 10 miles from the first one opened up for its grand opening. I attended and was very lucky to find that they had one Wacky Mole Clown on, uh, set up in the factory floor and one in box. I had to buy the one in box, I could not resist, and I have it. I bought it a couple hours ago and now I'm going to be unboxing it. Uh, I'm very excited. I mean, I have the original Wacky Mole Clown and I plan to display them next to each other. So I'm really excited to see the differences in person to the original and 2021 model. So let's get to the setup. All right, so here I am. As you can see, the box is not a giant. Obviously, after I got Mr. Howell first this year, I'm like used to the giant boxes. This one's about medium size. It's not uh, compared to me, as you can see, it's about my arm length. Not that big, but let's open it up. I have not opened him yet. So as you can see, we have the Dr. Zombie clip art. And it seems that they have put a piece of cardboard on the top. I don't want to lose that. And then as you can see, he is right underneath. Here we go. So right on the top, you have the instructions. Obviously, he features 2021 instructions because he's a 2021 animatronic with the cool box art at the top with a different stock photo and then the actual images. Um, and it, 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 it kind of shows you the parts frame, dressing, uh, what else? And figure. So you can see the kind of different pieces that are in there. And then obviously you have the perfectly put in pieces of the animatronic. I hear Wacky Mole is really easy to set up and I know that he is because I have the original and they have the exact same setup. So now let's get to the actual build. So here he is, the unboxing and setup of Wacky Mole Clown 2021 is complete. As you can see, you can get a good idea of his size compared to me, just a little bit taller. He's not the biggest animatronic ever, but he's the same height as the original Wacky Mole. I'm looking at the box right now and he says stands 5.75 feet tall, so just about almost 6 feet tall if you're wondering how big he is. Um, I'm not going to do a comparison to the original one even though I have it because a few people have done comparisons and I think theirs are really really good and I don't want to steal their ideas so if you want to see a comparison go check out theirs but I will tell you the things I like about this one that I don't like or that compare to the original. First of all obviously the head is latex which is really interesting as you can see you can kind of I can like manipulate it there's a plastic shell you probably can't hear that but there's a plastic shell underneath it that makes it keep its shape but in certain spots like the corner of the mouth there isn't and you can kind of manipulate it. The eyebrows are another spot as you can see I can completely fold them down because there is not plastic. I think the eyes are really really different because the way they painted the swirl completely different and honestly a lot better and I love the hand positioning on this new Wacky Mole. I think it's so much better with the hand facing sideways instead of down and the hammer being out instead of like closer to his body. Really really love that. Overall I think this guy I love him and honestly I think he might be a better animatronic 
than the original 2013 counterpart. Obviously, I love the 2013 one. I love it. I've always loved it. But if you're comparing these two and trying to figure out which is a better quality animatronic, this one 100% takes the victory because of the speaker, which when you hear his demo in a second, his speaker is fantastic, so much more clear and so much more loud than the original model, and his mechanism is so much higher quality. This guy is an awesome animatronic, and honestly, it is much better than the original 2013 model um, if you're looking at it as in terms of high quality and what he is for what you pay. So without further ado, let's get to the demos. I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer! <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm gonna whack you over the head, too! Oh, please, come a little closer! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So that's going to wrap up my unboxing, setup, demo, and review of my Spirit Halloween 2021 Wacky Mole Clown. Again, overall, I love this guy. I love the original, but honestly, I think this guy is a better overall animatronic because of his higher quality, really, really nice detailing in the face there, and that speaker with the higher quality audio makes him 10 times better, in my opinion, than the original. Overall, the quality of this guy is fantastic. I think the $220 price tag, and with a coupon, you can even knock that down more. I think he's really, really worth it, and an awesome rendition of the original 2013 counterpart. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up my unboxing, setup, demo, and review of my Spirit Halloween 2021 Wacky Mole Clown. I 100% recommend that you go to your spirit store and purchase him, if not order him online. He isn't super hard to find right now because stores have been starting to get him slowly, so definitely check your local store if you're trying to get him. Ladies and gentlemen, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I see you guys later for more Spirit Halloween 2021 videos. Goodbye.